Hi, I'm Dr. Derek Alessi, and I wanted to put together a quick message to you right now. No, it's not me exercising or something with diet or some motivation. It's an update of where we stand in terms of reopening. As we all heard yesterday, we got some very good news in Western New York that phase one has started with reopening Western New York, which is great in manufacturing and construction. And our hope, of course, is that it's not long before phase two starts. Some people are thinking it could be just a couple weeks. Some people aren't quite sure. I don't know, and I don't want to guess, but I do feel as though we're moving in that right direction, and it's not that far now. So all of that being said, I did want to mention some things. Over the last several weeks, in fact, several months, people have reached out to me. When are you going to reopen? How are you going to reopen? Please don't forget about me when you do reopen. What are the restrictions going to be? And the answer is, I don't know yet. We are developing some internal protocols, but of course we're following recommendations and we're following the laws and mandates to make sure that we're doing it properly. On an individual and business front, what we're doing is we're making sure that our protocols not just meet, but far exceed any protocols that the state could possibly mandate. In fact, an infectious disease control specialist is being brought in to make sure that we're not only following it, but exceeding our cleaning recommendations, our hygiene recommendations, and then also to how we're handling both staff and clients. Yes, there's gonna be mandatory temperature checks. We're gonna do that for the staff. We're gonna do that for clientele. Yes, masks are going to be needed and required. We know that mandate is most likely coming from the state, but in addition to that, we're all gonna wear them not only to keep each other safe from ourselves, but to make sure that we're all safe from each other. Look, I have done this a long time. In fact, I've spent my entire life doing nothing but health and fitness and helping people improve themselves. In doing so, I always stress the fact that your body has to be healthy and we have to protect each other because if you don't have your health, you don't have anything. I have never been the person that's willing to compromise any type of health just to get some weight loss results. That has never been my style and never will be. I am not a fad place. I am not a diet place. I'm not a trick place. None of those things. It's about doing the right things. Now, also too, I want to segue. On top of coronavirus, on top of COVID-19 and everything else that is top of mind that we're also concerned about, and we should be, I want to talk about our own personal health and our own personal resiliency and strength. I have mentioned this many times before. If your body does get attacked by some type of foreign invader, what is your internal bank account or savings account to fight that? And it does matter, and it matters a lot. What we have seen from this, and it is clear, overwhelmingly clear, that coronavirus seems to attack the weakest. If you are older, yes, without question, it does have a stronger effect. Also too though, more so than even that, underlying conditions. We have heard that time and time again and the statistics once again are very clear. We could see the infectious rate, we could see the death rate, and what we see behind all of it is underlying conditions, minimally 60% of the time, most of the time coming up to about 100% of the time, especially when it comes to fatalities and death. So it's super important that we're doing everything personal. Now, also, I've spent decades telling people, yes, if you have heart disease, if you have diabetes, if you've had a stroke, if you've had a heart attack, if you have dementia, Alzheimer's, all of these terrible things, it reduces your life expectancy. Now, for a long time, and I thought was a very strong argument, that the second you have high blood sugar and have diabetes, statistically used, you lose 10 to 12 years of life. And to me, that is so much. It's over a decade of life. And on top of losing that much life, you lose quality of life. Once again, I thought that was the strongest argument of all time. And I really believe it still is super powerful. But we're seeing something now, if it's even imaginable, more powerful. That is, if you have these underlying conditions, it's not just 10 to 12 years. You might not make it through this year, this year, which once again, 
I never thought that was going to be a consideration. I never thought I was going to be explaining that to people or warning people that that's a possibility if you don't do the right things. Now, once again, heart disease, diabetes, stroke, Alzheimer's, kidney disease, lung disease, asthma, thyroid disorder, triglyceride problems, blood pressure issues, all of those are the underlying conditions that we're talking about, and there's more, but those are super important to make sure that you, your body, your resiliency is out there and strong. Now lastly, and this is something else, if we are to believe the experts' models, and once again, there's really no reason not to believe it, and we can debate it back and forth, but either this COVID-19 coronavirus is gonna stay at a pretty high level for a long time, or it's going to dip somewhat during the warmer summer months and then reoccur later in the year, or there's gonna be blips along the way for an infinite amount of time. All of those, once again, I think we could kind of lump it all into an equation, the fact that it's not going away. And it's not gonna go away, it just might change a little bit in severity based upon the season, but you have to have the strength in order to fight it off. Your immune system has to be proper, it has to be protected. So yes, I am going to keep pushing out diets and exercises and nutritional advice and motivation. That's gonna keep coming no matter what. That was my promise I made to you before, and I'm not gonna change it now. That's gonna to continue to come. But in addition to that, with reopening, we're gonna handle things in a certain way. My philosophy is still not gonna change. We're gonna do the right things and we're gonna do it consistently. Now more than ever, we know that we must do this for our longevity and to make sure that we're here because it's important. Hopefully, this video served you and I look forward to giving you more updates shortly. I don't want it to be weeks before there's something else. I want it to be pretty quickly so we could keep this going, get back to work and really improve. The last thing that I'm gonna say is I know a lot of you have been great. You've been sending me your, your diets and your meals and your lunches and I get to see them in your home workout rooms and you've been trying to stay with it and that's awesome. For those of you that haven't, this isn't me badgering you. I'm not going to do that at all. What I'm going to say is let's start it up now. Please take one step at a time. Start doing the right thing. Start moving forward. Let's get it going. Yes, we're going to get back to work. Yes, we're going to make sure that we're doing the right things and I'm going to help you with that. But also help yourself a little bit. Start improving, moving in the right direction. A lot of it is mindset. If you do that, it's going to help you start better and have more results, but also to a stronger immune system. So any questions, please let me know. We are moving in the right direction. I look forward to reaching out to you shortly. I'm Dr. Derek Alessi, asking you to make the most of your life and live it fit.